Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today with T'Challa, apparently. And I'm here today with another Grinchmas video. And I do wanna say a big thank you to the sponsor for this video, which is Scentbird, but more on them in just a moment. And we're doing a gift guide. <laughs> we, a last minute, forgot it was Christmas this week. We're all procrastinators and I have no ideas gift guide. It's probably not gonna be called that, but that's the basis of this. So I wanted to film a gift guide for the procrastinators like me, put in some of my favorite things, some of the things that either I've gotten as presents or that I've gotten myself that I always get asked about in real life or even through video, that you can kind of tune to any person's tastes and flavors and make it a little bit more personalized, but still have it be just like a generally, oh, I didn't even think I wanted that kind of thing. It took me a while to actually come up with the 20 gifts on here, so I hope you enjoy it. I hope this helps you out. There's a little bit of everything on this list. There's things from like the pricier side of things to very inexpensive gifts. I think I wanted to have a little bit of variety just in case you might just be looking for stocking stuffers. You know, there's a lot of good stocking stuffers on this list if I do say so myself. All of the things on here are either things that you can buy in stores or through Amazon because Amazon obviously has the fast shipping. So I have a lot of things that I would have loved to put on this list that I can't because it would take too long with shipping, but maybe next year if I'm, if I get my life together, I'll do a video more like that. Without further ado, let's talk really quick about the sponsor for today's video, which is again, Scentbird. So again, thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. I have worked with Scentbird a few times in the past and it's just something that I really love. I love fragrances. I love smelling different all the time and Scentbird is really just the perfect place for that. If you're new to them, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can choose from over 600 brands and get one sent to you every single month for just $16 and you get a 30-day supply of whatever fragrance you choose for that amount and it comes in one of these really nice little bottles that twists up and you can kind of check how much you have left by pulling it out just like that. So it is like a travel size size and it's travel friendly definitely but it's definitely a lot bigger than the typical travel size bottles this is again a 30-day supply and it's going to last you those full 30 days so you can definitely get a full well-rounded experience of testing out this fragrance and seeing if it works for you or not plus every single month you actually do have the option to upgrade your plan to not just get the one fragrance but get even two or three sent to your door and get to test all of those out for yourself and it's actually a risk-free kind of subscription. So if there's any month that you need to skip, you are able to without any penalties. Scentbird actually works with top designer brands such as like Prada, Versace, and Gucci. So if you've ever been looking to get yourself something like that, but didn't want to spend that kind of money on a full-size bottle for a fancy fragrance that you might not even like, this is again going to be perfect for you so that you get to test drive it and really see if you like it before committing. Plus, if you're someone that likes to try out new things and just loves to explore fragrance, they have a lot of in-house indie brands as well, such as Vince Camus or The Harmonist or Confessions of a Rebel, so you can really be sure that you're gonna find something new or something that you've maybe already checked out. Plus, they don't just have perfumes on their site, they also have colognes and unisex scents as well, so once again, you're really gonna get like a full, well-rounded options list. I mean, there are over 600 brands, again, to choose from, so you have quite a lot to look through. And if this all seems a little bit overwhelming and like you wouldn't even know where to start, they also have a quiz on their website, which I adore. I I feel like I've learned so much about my own like scent palette and the things that I love in fragrances from taking this quiz multiple times because after you take it, it asks you some pretty simple questions and then it kind of gives you a scent palette and that is kind of your, your fragrance family and they also recommend you perfumes, colognes, scents in general under that that really mesh well with that kind of fragrance family. Whether you know what you like or whether you're completely new to fragrance and just have no idea where to start, it's still a really fun quiz and it's very short and very fast and very simple. So quickly I wanted to talk about the scents that I have here. These are the same ones that I talked about in my last video so if you saw that they are the same because I haven't gone through them yet and I really like to be able to 
finished things before, you know, trying out new things. But the first one is actually going to be probably my favorite of the ones that I'm going to be talking to you about. And it's Red Panda by Sanctuary. The top fragrances in this are supposed to be Bamboo Leaf Accord, Black Currant Berries, Jasmine Petals, Creamy Sandalwood, and Vanilla Orchid. It is a very soft and... I guess floral, but also foresty scent. I don't know how else to describe it. It's just very unique. Then we have this one, which is actually a cologne. So that just goes to show how little, you know, it means when it's a perfume versus a cologne because people love this scent on me. And this is Eros by Versace, the male version. And the top notes in it are green apple, vanilla, mint, tonka bean, and lemon. It's again, pretty like fresh and sharp and in your face, but also has a, a slight sweetness to it. And then from the same company that made the Red Panda one, so Sanctuary, we have Vaquita Dolphin, and the top notes in this are pear, red currant, water lily, sea salt, and cedarwood. It's very pleasant and warm. I, I think it's gonna be a really good summer scent. I, I don't think it's that bad for winter either because it's very warm. And then we have this lovely blue bottle and this one is actually Warrior by Rachel Zoe. And the main notes in this one are mandarin, magnolia, tuberose, patchouli, and cocoa. This is a very sophisticated smell, I feel like. I think whenever I smell patchouli, I just automatically feel like it's a sophisticated smell. Scentbird has actually given me a discount code for you to use. And if you use my code, you actually get 30% off of your first month at Scentbird which makes your first month only $11, which is an incredible, incredible deal. And again, this is probably a really cool thing to give someone during the holiday season, but it's also a lovely thing to give yourself. I mean, everyone loves smelling nice, I feel and it's never a bad thing to discover a new scent that you love. So thank you to Scentbird and thank you to you guys because again, I would never have companies like Scentbird reaching out to me if it weren't for you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump back into my video. I tried to keep it more neutral, more like anyone would probably like this gift, but you know, we'll see. So number one on my list, just because we already just talked about them, is actually going to be Scentbird. I think that this is a wonderful gift idea. It's also something that, I mean, technically you just kind of have to show the confirmation for, for the person to be like, oh wow, you got me the subscription? I mean, I feel like I've talked about them enough in the sponsorship portion, so you already kind of get the gist of it, but I just think this is a really cool and unique idea that would kind of have like a lasting effect. It's not just something that is one and done. It's something that, you know, might have some like really cool lasting effects, like I just said. Maybe you can get them a few months and then they can just take over the payments if they love it a lot. Number two on my list is stickers. This is a funny one because I think that stickers are incredible. I think stickers are just some of the most fun things to find for people. I mean, especially with websites like Redbubble or... I'll leave the name of the other one right here because I'm like blanking, but the ones that you can have like personalized stickers that come in really like fancy like vinyl sticker format that people can put on their hydro flasks or their laptops or in journals. If you know someone that seems to like to personalize their items or that journals or that scrapbooks, stickers are just such a great idea. And especially if you can have the time to just find like one by one stickers of like things that you know they love, that would just make it really special. But obviously on Amazon, they have like sticker packs of a whole bunch of things that the person might like as well. I just think this one's one of those that isn't too expensive to still really show someone that you know them. Gift giving is my love language and gift receiving, I guess. So that is the one thing that I love more than anything else. When I'm getting a gift, I love to realize that the person that's giving it to me just knows me and it, you know, makes you feel special. So the third thing on this list is going to be candles. I swear I will eventually have the things that I'm talking about, but candles and not just any candles. I'm not saying like Bath and Body Works candles, though those they work as well, but I think that it's really fun to get those like statue candles, especially if you know that they would kind of mesh well with the aesthetic that someone might have. I mean, I feel like those like very Grecian statue style decorations were very in this year, and I think that candles are a great way to just kind of include that interior decor without fully committing because, you know, let's say it goes out of fashion in a couple of years, you can just burn the candle, it's fine. And there's a few pretty inexpensive options through Amazon, which is the ones that I'm going to recommend specifically for this video. But in the future, if you have the time, Etsy has some incredible ones. I would love to just be able to only say like support small businesses and artists and things such as that. But this is a procrastinators video. So you know what? 
get them the really quick one right now, but then later in the future, pinky swear that you're gonna actually look at the artist's ones because theirs are incredible and you know they're handmade and made with love and, you know, it's good. So I think this is also a fun one because there are so many variations of the kinds of little statue candles that you can get someone. I'll leave them... Oh, I'm leaving everything linked down below, by the way, guys, just in case you do want to check it out. They are affiliate links, so if you purchase it through that link, I get, like, a tiny kickback. Don't feel like you need to purchase anything or even purchase through those links. It makes no difference. I mean, I guess it makes a difference to me, but I don't mind whether you purchase it through my links or not. Number four on the list, and finally something that I actually have, is skewed for the readers in your life. If you do have someone that loves to read books, that maybe reads really late into the night, or that just always seems to be lugging around a physical book, because this is probably better for the physical book readers. You don't really need it if you're an e-reader kind of person, but a book light. It's not too expensive. There's a lot of variations of it. My boyfriend gave me this one and it made me feel so special because I love to read and he knows I love to read and he also knows that I like to read really late into the night. I fit all the criteria of the things that I was telling you. And a lot of times he's a very light sleeper, so I don't want to wake him with like full lights on everything. And he got me a book light and I just use this into the night. He still kind of tosses and turns, but he can't complain because he gave me the gift. But I think this is just a really cute and sweet gift that you can give someone. Chala fell asleep. Oh, you woke up. I'll show you him at the end if he's still right here, but he's just like laid out on me. Number five on the list. This is a little bit of a splurge. A little bit, because you can still find some on Amazon for like not too expensive of a price. I will link the one that I got personally. I really like it. Uh, it says it's 100% silk. It's hard to know when it's not, you know, a lot of money. It's only 25 bucks per pillowcase. But a silk pillowcase, guys. A silk pillowcase is such a great gift. For everyone in your life, a silk pillowcase is lovely because this is so good for your skin, for your hair, in comparison to cotton. I feel so preachy when I talk about it, but it really is. It makes such a difference in just, like, frizz levels in hair, in moisture in your face. It doesn't tug as much while you sleep. It feels so luxurious, you feel very bougie, and I personally at least found ones that aren't at the bougie price. I think this is, again, a splurge that most people will not think to get for themselves unless they're very into beauty. And if they're already very into beauty, they're probably going to appreciate having another set, whether they have one or not. So, silk pillowcases, I'll link the ones that I got down below, but you can really get these anywhere. I would check out like Marshalls or TJ Maxx too because, you know, they have a lot of like fancy stuff for a not too fancy price. Number six, probably my number one recommendation for gifts if you know whether they have one or not actually, a Hydro Flask. I mean, you don't have to get the Hydro Flask brand. I just, I started with the Hydro Flask brand and at this point, whether you tell me or not that all the other ones are just as good or not better, I still just tend to drift towards this one. I love the straw cap specifically. You can get them a boot so that it feels extra secure. And you know, if you got them stickers, now they can decorate their hydro flask with the stickers, with the stickers, with stickers. This is just great. It's not cheap. It's a little bit more in like that mid price range. It can like go from anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks, depending. You can really find these in like Dick's Sporting Goods, Big Five. You can find them on Amazon. There's a lot of options and it's just, it's something that's good for them because you need to drink more water. Actually, I am currently thirsty. You need to drink more water. But also, I just think it's a good gift. I've given multiple of them throughout the years. I've gotten multiple throughout the years. Oh, I love you too. Oh. Did you guys believe me? You didn't, did you? Hi. Get a cat. You know what? Um, this is a bonus gift. It wasn't on my list, but give them a cat. I thought I was a dog person. But my cats are like my sunshine. Well, he's my prince of darkness. I love you too, Chachi. Seven on this list. A good stocking stuffer. A good personalizable... Personalizable? That's not a word. A good gift that you can personalize and uh, one that's, again, not too expensive but can be kind of in that weird, like, feels like a splurge range. Socks. Not just any socks. I mean, no one has ever said no to fuzzy socks, in my opinion, but I think that it's always fun to get someone, like, graphic socks. That sounds strange, but I mean, like, the ones that they sell at Box Lunch or 
excuse my nails guys, uh, box lunch, places that sell like socks that you buy just one pair at a time. Zoomies is a great example of this. If you get them like stance socks that have like a cool design on them. My Grinch socks are some of my favorite socks that I own. But I think this is again one of those where if you get something that you know they love. It feels again like you really know them. They're gonna think of you whenever they wear them. They're good to wear with boots. They're good to wear to sleep. They're gonna use them, you know, whether they're goofy or not. I feel like goofy socks are just super fun. Number eight, hair ties. Specifically this hair tie. I, I'm gonna try to just zoom. I'm, I'm holding a cat with my other hand, so I can't really, you totally can't. Okay, I think that's about, ah, oh, I just went out of focus. Okay, these hair ties, I'll put a picture up. They're from Target. I've loved these hair ties. I kind of found them by chance, and I've, this is the only one I have left. I have no idea where all my other ones went. I swear I had them before I got to my mom's house, so I think she's stealing them, or there's gnomes. I don't know. They don't feel like they're tearing at your hair. They're very, like, elastic, so it's just, it's a very secure hair tie, and they're great. They come in like a pack of five or six. I also like silk satiny hair ties. They're supposed to be good for your hair, but they just don't hold very well, so these are better. Number nine, and one that I actually did have on here, but now I have misplaced, uh, pens. Specifically, the Sharpie gel pen. I got them because of TikTok. Like, I get a lot of things, but they're incredible. The one thing that I've always hated about gel pens is that when you're writing, it just completely blurs over it when you run your hand on it, and then you have like this pen mark all over the side of your hand, and then your page is all messy, and it's so annoying to let it dry. The Sharpie pen really does not have any dry time. You mark it, you can wipe your finger across it, it will not run. It's incredible. It's fun. It's amazing. Everyone needs pens. This is a good stocking stuffer. I feel like I over explained that. It's pretty straightforward. Number 10 on this list is an AirTag. This is the only like Apple style product that I'll probably put on this list because everything at Apple is very expensive and that is not what I wanted this list to be. But AirTags, they're like 20, 29 bucks, 25 bucks. I'm really, I can't remember, but it's not that bad. And if you get like a four pack, it's like 99. So I guess you could just like give one to each person in your family. I'm not sure, but everyone loses their keys. So, you know, as a little bonus gift with this, you might want to get them like a keychain that can hold it or I don't know if they're the kind of person that loses their wallet get them one of those wallets that can hold it or I saw a card thing that you can put the air tag in so it can go into a card slot I think this is a great gift it's not too expensive it's amazing for the person in your life that loses everything I am that person in everyone's life I am the person that loses everything whether you do lose a lot of things or not this is just a good gift I think and it's not too expensive and it feels bougie for whatever that's worth. Number 11, this backpack. This is the Fjall Raven mini backpack. The full size one's fine too, but I recommend the mini one. This is awesome. You can use it as a purse, you can use it as a backpack, you can travel with it. It has a lot more room than the regular like purse backpacks that I tend to use just because of its shape at the top. So I can fit my iPad in here versus like any other backpack I can't. And I can fit a 32 ounce hydro flask in here. Not mine, mine's a 40. It fits a lot. And there's a lot of colors of it. They sell these at like Urban Outfitters. They sell them on Amazon, super handy. It's very high quality. It's pretty expensive, but I feel like no matter the aesthetic, someone will find a use for it. I mean, if you definitely are trying to shop for someone that maybe has a little bit of a classier vibe, I guess it won't be the best gift for them, but then you're on your own because you'll have to, you'll just, just find one of those backpacks that are like pleather. Number 12 on this list is one that I don't have for myself, but one that I've considered getting for a while and I just think is a good gift for anyone in your life, whether they're a good driver or not. It's a dash cam. I will link the one that my coworker recommended to me. It's like a 4K dash cam. It comes with like the front one and the back one and it's like constantly rolling so that if there's ever a situation where you're in an accident or there's a fender bender or someone hits your car, I mean anything like that, there is now footage of it, which seems like a silly thing. It seems like you should be able to just be honest and just say like, hey, no, this person did hit me and that the insurance companies should believe you, but you know, it's all hearsay. So having that footage, having that like dash cam is just like a nice like security measure for you to take. It feels better. I believe that this one also like will record while you're parked. So that's great because I mean, the amount of times I've seen people get hit in a parking lot and then that person just 
runs off. That's just shitty. I mean, first of all, if you're ever that person, at the same time that I get it, because money's tight for a lot of people, just don't do it. I guess. I just be, be a better parker, maybe. I mean, that's really the, the best solution here. And be a better driver. But for all those times that you're not around good drivers, you'll have a dash cam. It's one of those funny things that I think that if you open it, you'll be like, oh, thanks, a dash cam. But then if they ever do end up needing it, it's just a great thing to be like, wow, I'm so glad that I had this. So number 13 on this list. This is for the clean freak in your life. Do you have one of them? Do you? My mom's that person for me. My dad is also that person for me. I am also that person for me. My parents have rubbed off on me. This is totally a splurge. It's an extra. You don't need this, but God will it come in handy. It will. It's the Bissell like carpet and upholstery steam vacuum. It's like a little portable steam cleaner that you can use in your car. So I guess if you have someone that really likes to keep their car pristine, this would actually be a pretty good gift for them. Uh, you could use it on couches and upholstery. So for the person that has fancy couches that doesn't ne that never wants to get stains on them, this is great. It's a little bit on that pricier end. It's above $100, but I think it's just one of those extras that in reality you probably don't need, but it makes life a little easier if you're a little bit type A or detail-oriented, as my mother likes to call it. She goes, no, I am not um, a clean freak. I'm not, I'm not that. I'm detail-oriented, which is such a lovely way to put it in your resume. So number 14 on my list is actually something my mom gave me that when I opened, I was like, oh, okay. But I've used it every single day since. I got this last Christmas and she gave one to my boyfriend too, and he loves it. I mean, I think he actually broke his, so maybe I should get him a new one, but mine's lasted a ton. This is like a three-in-one like bedside charger. This is great for just going to sleep. This one specifically is for like the iPhone 8 plus and up. The ones that can wirelessly charge because it, it's a wireless phone charger and then it has the area to put in your watch charger if you have an Apple watch and this bottom part, this is for AirPods. So wirelessly charging AirPods. So there's a lot of different options for these. I mean, if you have obviously a phone that needs to charge non-wirelessly, they have options for that. I personally recommend these just because I feel like it would be harder to fry a wireless charger with like a maybe cheaper product versus using a real cable. I mean, I've just seen so many, so many people get screwed by using like cheaper cables and then frying their their Apple products because of it. And I just feel like that, I, I don't know, I guess, but I feel like that can't happen with a wireless charger. So I'm happy that my phone can, can wirelessly charge because then I use that. But if not, there's still other options out there. And this one that my mom got me, she said it wasn't too expensive. I'll try and find the exact one, but if not, I'll just leave some of the similar ones down below. But obviously if you wanna get bougie with it, I guess go to the Apple store, but there's cheaper options. <laughs> I've said bougie a lot in this video, and I feel like I haven't said it in years, so this is a, this is weird. Ooh, 15. This one's, this one's a little bit random. Again, this is kind of maybe more for like the scrapbooky person in your life, and there's a couple of options for this. I just personally have this. It's a life print photo printer. It doesn't need any ink. You just need to get the right, like, sticker film paper for it. The reason I like this one personally over the Polaroid version, the Polaroid version's really cool too, or like the Instax one. I like this one because it's sticker photo paper. So like you just peel off the back and stick it right into wherever you're putting it into. And I, I do really appreciate that. I think though that like any of those options are gonna be good for someone in your life. This one I think is more like for the journaling, scrapbooky person that you might have been shopping for, but the Polaroid and Instax ones have the vibes, so it's up to you at that point. They can use tape, I guess, but I just have this one, so this is the one that I will recommend, and I just think it's a nice little, it's a gift. It's an, it's a, it's a gift. Wow. Okay, my leg's falling asleep because Chal is being adorable, but again, that one's a little bit more on, like, pricier side of things. It does run, I think, up to, like, $100. I'm not entirely positive, so a little bit more of a splurge for sure. 16, guys. 16. This one almost didn't make it on my list, and I was like, how silly of me to almost leave it off because it's the thing that I get asked about constantly. I think it's because I rave about it so much. It's a, it's a box cutter. It's a, it's a pink box cutter that I got on Amazon. It folds, like you press this button and then you pop it open and then it has this 
box cutter to open up packages and you know boxes and then over here like if you open this thing up which I can't do because my other arm is under a cat uh, it has like replacement blades which I think is really nice it feels heavy duty it feels like it's it's working I love it it's actually probably my favorite gift that I got for my birthday and it's like 10 bucks Everyone has packages, everyone has boxes. I feel like a box cutter is the one thing that I never knew I wanted until I had it, and now I'm obsessed. Uh, I was always like a knife kind of gal, and I mean, I still love my knives, but it feels wasteful to, to cut open boxes with them, and now I have a tool specifically for that. Isn't that great? So, 17. It's this belt. This specific belt. I feel like they've sold this at Urban Outfitters for years. I saw my friend wearing it, years ago and she said oh I got it a couple years ago at Urban Outfitters let's see if they still have it we went to Urban Outfitters they still had it I'm pretty sure they still have it now anytime I go in I've seen it but it's like a western belt and the leather is soft like it's like a floppy floppy leather I actually got like I think the medium size and I popped like I, I broke some holes into it and I think that that's actually a cuter way to get this just to maybe like size up in it because when you make the new hole and then like kind of loop it around in your jeans they just look really cute it's like 20 ish dollars and I get compliments on it all the time. Every single time I wear it, there is a new person that notices it that loves my belt. So it's really stood the test of time so far. I recommend. I hope they still have it at Urban. I think, I mean, they do. I just hope that they have it in your Urban Outfitters if you have one in, in, in a mall. 18 is maybe for someone that has a, a little bit of like a grungier or darker aesthetic, and that's a pair of Doc Martens. I would recommend just the regular original pair of them, but I feel like they're really hard to find in sizing. So if you already know that someone has Docs in your life, see what size they are and then get them a cool pair. Now, the ones that I'm going to recommend are just the ones that I've gotten the most recently and the ones that I get a lot of compliments on because they're not like your typical docs but they're still docs and they're these um they look they look beat uh, I'll post a picture of what they look like all zipped up they're cool because first of all the white docs are really just like a stunning thing to look at I've seen a pair that one of my coworkers has I'm obsessed with them she just got them they're like black and they have the same zipper attachment to them, but they're different. But these are, again, a little bit more on that pricier side of things. You have to definitely know that, like, this is the aesthetic that the person you're shopping for would like. Sizing is kind of, kind of difficult. It's easiest, I guess, if you have a Doc Martin store near you. I do have one in, in the fashion show mall, so if you live in Vegas, there's one in the fashion show. I'm not sure if there's another one, but otherwise you'll have to order it online, which works, but I don't know if it'll come in time at this point. I just thought I'd throw that out there. I feel like Doc Martens really stand the test of time in general. Like, the classic pair have basically stayed in style. It's been years. It's been decades. I think that getting someone, like, maybe a slightly different version of them makes you feel cool. Like, you're wearing Docs, but you're wearing, like, different Docs because you're not like other girls. I hope you can tell I'm being sarcastic. These ones specifically are just really cool. I get a lot of compliments on them from people that like Docs, from people that don't like Docs. They just seem to really stand out, so I thought I would add it. As I've said for almost everything on this list, 19th on my list is another like less expensive option. These are specifically from Amazon and I will link the ones I got. They're these hair clips. They seem ginormous and I thought like I don't have a ton of hair so I thought it was gonna be a little bit too much for me but actually they're amazing. I found many ways to still work with them. I like look up how to use hair clip videos. These are great. They come in like four colors. There's a green, a tan-ish, orange-ish color. This pink and there's a black one. They're really sturdy. They actually have like a very strong clip on them. So if someone has a lot of hair, these will also be really great for them. And I just think that hair clips have been very in style this last year. And they're really good for your hair, actually. Like, side note, like hair ties are actually pretty bad for your hair in a lot of senses, like ponytails are. And hair clips are not as damaging. So people have been using them more. And I feel like it's a good thing. So if you want to get some, these aren't that expensive and they actually still look new and I use them all the time. Last on my list, I debated putting this on here, but the thing is, is I use it every single day of my life and I feel like anyone in your life that has a computer should have one. Whether they think they need it or not, they should have one. So just get it for them because no one wants to buy it, but everyone needs it. Everyone has a computer, I feel like at this point. It's a hard drive. 
This one specifically is, um, I'll link this one specifically, I guess, down below. It's an SSD drive. I, you can get a regular hard drive or an SSD drive, but SSD does seem to run a little bit higher because I guess theoretically, since there's no gears turning in it, it's supposed to last forever. I, who knows? Because it's a fairly new technology. And by fairly new, I mean like it hasn't been around forever, so you can't really say it's gonna last forever. But I think that these ones, I get SSD because it makes me feel a little bit more secure with my information on it, especially because I do so much video editing. I use it because of that specifically, but this is great for anything. Like this is great to have a backup of your computer in case like, please God, no, it crashes. That happened to me in college. It was traumatic. I cried. Uh, it was not a good experience <laughs> and it was all my fault, but computers crash, technology fails, try and have a backup and everyone should have a backup and then this is just like you're saving that person. You know, a lot of these gifts are kind of like that, like the dash cam, like you don't know you want this. You're gonna get it and you're gonna be like, thanks. Hopefully it doesn't happen, but if your computer crashes, you're gonna be so freaking grateful that someone got you a hard drive that you made a backup to. Like, thank goodness, because now all of that work that you've worked so hard for is not lost. And when you have that tough conversation and like the Apple store and they're looking at you and they're like, your computer's dead and it's gonna be $600 because personally I hadn't gotten Apple Care, you know, cause that's money. And uh, when that happens, now you won't have to sit there and be like, oh my God, every every shitty, crappy writing that I ever did of my fake books that are books that I was just hoping to look back on when I'm older is now gone forever because that, that specific situation happened to me. So <laughs> took me a while to finally get a hard drive for myself and I got it mostly because of like, again, the video editing that I do. I like to be able to go between two different devices, but I've actually recently gotten another one just to use as a backup because I, I mean, I've seen it happen to me. I've seen it happen to other people too, but I've specifically seen it happen to me. I don't ever want that to happen again. So be that person for your person. Get them a hard drive. They're gonna love you or they're gonna feel very indifferent until the moment they do love you. So you know what? You're welcome. Uh, yeah, this gift guide was a little all over the place. I thought I had so many good ideas and then when it came down to it, I just didn't want to put in anything that I didn't think would come in time and also that might be like too specific for me. Like I, I love a lot of things, but that doesn't mean that everyone else does. So I tried to keep this as like neutral as possible. Let me know, I guess, in the future if you would want to see more of like specific gift guide kind of things. I'll try and be more on top of my things next year for Christmas. And ideally, you know, we'll do that. So that's gonna be it though. I hope you found something. I hope that this helps you out if you're that last minute procrastinator person like me. And I'll, again, everything's linked below if you needed to check it out. But these are definitely kinds of items that you don't need the specific link. You can probably find them in a lot of places. So that's gonna be it for this video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. And uh, Merry Grinchmas. Look, I wore green. I wore green. Chala is knocked. He's knocked. Let me show you now that the video's done, basically. It's not moving, Chala. Ah! Can you actually even see him? Well, he's in my lap. Oh, there's a mic. There's a mic blocking him. Look at him. Look at this little bean. He's like, you know what you should get for Christmas? You should get me treats. I actually have more ideas for cats than I do for humans. Like, I have so many gift ideas for my cats. It's ridiculous, actually. That would be a very niche video, but I could totally do that for you. If you need gift ideas for dogs and cats, I've got you. I have so many. <laughs> oh, look at his little face. Okay, my love, we have to get up. I have to, I have to do more. Bye, guys. Oh my gosh, wait, I didn't do my normal. You're such a baby. You're my little baby. You're my little cinnamon roll. I'm bugging you, aren't I? I'm bugging you. I'm bugging you. Ha, ha, ha.